hello welcome back to my channel this is the preacher's wife okay today we want to talk about habits bad habits we want to talk about bad habits and how to break out of bad habits okay now what is habit habit is an action performed on a regular basis something you do regularly it could be two times a week could be three times a week it could be every day so it becomes a habit it can also be an action that is performed repeatedly or automatically without awareness you're not even aware you're doing this you're just you've gotten so used to it that you can just do it without automatically you can do it automatically you can do it repeatedly what is a bad habit a bad habit is a negative behavioral pattern a negative behavioral pattern is known as a bad habit a negative behavior is known as a bad habit number one procrastination <laughs> i will do it tomorrow Number two, it could be overspending. Number three, nail biting. Nail biting is a bad habit. Number four, it could be too much of TV time or too much of social media. Too much of too much of screen time. Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram. Too much of worrying, worrying, worrying about things you cannot solve. It's also a bad habit. So we're going to talk about how to break out of bad habit. Number one, let's talk about procrastination. Procrastination is just like saying and I, I i want to do this thing no i have this plan no maybe in the day you wake up and say i have this plan and when it gets to that day you're not saying this one i'll shoot this one to later i'll do it one hour time in one hour time you still don't do it so you've been able to you keep moving it and at the end of the day you don't do it okay procrastination so how do i break out of the habit of procrastination number one get a calendar place a deadline for that job for that task get a calendar and place a deadline for you give yourself a deadline number two chunk it break the task into small sizes so it can you can be it can be easily achieved because most times when it's combat someone is looking so big comes so afraid of it and that's why you keep moving it but if you're able to break it chunk it into different sizes you'll be able to achieve that goal okay focus on your why give yourself the reason why you should achieve that goal Give yourself the reason why you should do that particular thing. Okay? Number four, get rid of excuses. Stop making excuses and do the job. Okay, I will recommend you get this book by Brian Tracy. Eat that frog. Okay? Eat that frog by Brian Tracy. So you could get that book. It can help you on how to stop procrastinating. Okay? It can help you on how to get your jobs done and get them done on time at the right time. Okay? So you could stop procrastinating and you'll be able to handle that bad particular bad habit okay now let's talk about bad habit number two overspending always buying things doing money transfer one of the ways easy way you can spend money from your account is to do transfer so you don't feel it now if you go to the bank now and you withdraw a certain amount of money you want to get to the you want to buy something within the market when you look at the volume of the money it's, you will start feeling that, ah, I hope I'm not overspending. But if it's just transfer, most times we get to the shop and you don't, most times you don't have money for it. You don't have money, fiscal cash for it. You've, 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 you've planned your budget for that day. Maybe you're going to the market and you said, I'm going to spend 10000 now on foodstuffs. And you, got, you get to the market and you saw one, you saw these fine slippers and you're like, how much? They say 4000 I say, oh God, they take transfer. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a victim of that. Oga, you did take transfer. Say yes, so I, I give me a card number. Why do you've wired 4000 that was nothing planned for that day? So overspending is a bad habit. <laughs> money transfer is one of the ways you can spend your money without even knowing that money is leaving your account. Sometimes, well, somebody said that if he wants to go and buy, is he, did he say a Range Rover or something that what he would like, he would like to do a transfer so he doesn't feel the money leaving his account. So one of the ways that money can leave your year, you can overspend is by doing transfers. And another one we'll do is to buy airtime through our bank app. <laughs> your bank app to buy airtime. In the midnight, you're buying airtime. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're making a call. If it was that time when you, you have to go and get a paper recharge card, <laughs> most persons, they, they, they cut the number of calls they make and the kind of things they talk about on phone. But in that manner, you know that when you just do your request, just put a bank code, you're able to get money from your account. It's very easy for you to buy a charge card online. So that's one of the ways we can overspend. <laughs> now, how to break out of overspending? Number one, get a budget. And stick to it. 
don't just stop by just by saying i have this budget for today i'm not going to spend more than this and you see that fine slippers and it's be calling you come now you i will look good on your leg or you see that necklace and it's telling you come now so get a budget and stick to it okay minimize online buying all this online platform where they sell things online minimize buying going to their site going to visit them minimize going to those sites minimize online buying minimize online transfer minimize online transfer it could help you with the overspending if you do more of cash payment you'll be able to know the amount you're able to feel the money leaving i'm not trying to say this thing should be stingy but i'm talking about overspending in case of overspending so if you do more of cash payment you're able to know the amount and feel the amount leaving your accounts than when you do online <laughs> transfer okay now one of the other bad habits we're going to talk about is too much screen time <laughs> television phone screen time um social media is social media is so dangerous to our health it has some health hazard that you might not even be aware of but you think that it's just you pressing your phone there are something there's something they call radiation and it's in these phones and televisions and you see yourself pressing your phone you think you're just pressing your phone you're being you're getting those things into your system okay one of the reasons why excessive screen time is not good for your body is that number one it emits radiation if, it's, if you're someone who is into science, you know about radiation. This is gamma rays, beta rays, alpha rays, all those rays, they, they enter into your body. And I'm sorry, I give a little of chemistry, radioactive elements. <laughs> okay, back pain. Have you noticed that if you're, you can be in a position for hours while you're on your phone, and you might not even take note of the fact that you're not properly seated, you're not seated in the right way, you can end up having back pain okay if obesity when you're always on your phone you don't have time for, for exercise you don't have time to do all that things so you're always pressing your phone it can make you become so obese and it's not good for your health poor cognitive development when you're always on the social media you're not learning anything it's not adding anything to yourself you that time you used to read a book you used to uh, socialize with other you to do all that things it makes you to just stay in a particular place pressing your phone even children not that one of the challenges that teachers are having in classes today is because the children they spend a lot of time on TV. One particular, they have to talk about the negative effect of screen on children. And we realize that most of them owned up to say, eh, my mom, I, I browsed with my mom's phone, I browsed with my father, that's one. Some parents don't even know their children on TikTok. I saw a boy I know, that is, I think he should be 11. He's already on TikTok and he has a page. He has a page and he has... People who like his video, I don't think the mom is aware. Yes, it's on TikTok. And the parents are not aware that it's on TikTok. Okay, the mom got a phone for him, but it's on TikTok now. Okay. So number five, it causes isolation. You're always keeping to yourself. Before you know, you find it difficult to relate with others because you're always on your phone. It causes isolation, self-isolation. Now how to break out of too much screen time. Get a timer. You could get it. There are some phones that has this timer that times you out of a particular app. If you're, you've overspent, if you spend so much time on that app, it can actually time you out of that app. It's called Focus Mood for some phones. Some phones, they call it App Freezer. So you could freeze some of this app that distracts you. Most of us will freeze the app. But if we get Focus Mood, Focus Mode will remind you to leave. You say, take a break. Take a break. You'll be taking a break. You're supposed to, maybe you're supposed to leave that place for like in five minutes time. You take a break till like two hours. So you need to get Focus Mode and stick to your Focus Mode. Use screen as a reward, a reward for a job well done. Use it. You can say, ah, I want to use this my, I want to Facebook only after I've done my job. So you could use it as a reward after your, you are done with your job. Okay. Now let's talk about one funny bad habit, and that is over worrying. <laughs> yes, so over worrying. If you go to the hospital. And you see the number of people who have BP in the hospital. You'll be telling yourself, you'll be thinking that BP is a contagious disease. It's not though. It's from it starts from here. Worry from what you get to anxiety. <laughs> you start overthinking about things, worrying about problem and the actual problem. It affects our health. So worrying about problem. What well, you're not even thinking about you when you say when, when you when we talk about worry, we're not talking about you sourcing a solution, we're talking about you thinking about the problem, not even the solution to the problem. But most times we say we are thinking. We are not thinking, we are worrying. We even, most times we pray, we hand it over to God, and we take it back from God, go back to the house, and start worrying about it. So worrying about issues, especially the ones you can't solve, is a bad habit. It's really, really a bad habit. And we need to stop this year. This is a new year. You need to tell yourself this year that this year, 
I will not worry about things I cannot change. I will not worry about things I cannot solve. So we need to stop worrying about things. Let's see. Cast your cares on the Lord. Remember the story of Peter. When his eyes were on, on Jesus Christ, he was walking on water. There are a lot of challenges in life. There is no place where there is a guarantee that you will not face challenges in life. Challenges are part of life. You have to go through them once in a while. Sometimes you have to, it has to come and you have to go through them. But trust God to give you a way of escape out of those challenges. It could be financial. It could be marital. It could be this. It could be that. But don't worry about things you cannot change. Cast your cares on the Lord for he careth. For you put your eyes on jesus as peter took his eyes off jesus and put it on the water on the river there on the wind he began to sink but when his eyes was on jesus christ he did not sink so if you take your eyes off jesus and put it on your problem you begin to sink as peter so stop worrying today tell yourself that you're not worrying cast your cares on the lord for the lord cares for you God knows your tomorrow. He knows your future. Your tomorrow is in God's hands, not in your hands. You're in and troubling yourself. You need to stop worrying about things you cannot change. And give it to somebody who knows the future. Somebody who can assist you. Somebody who can help you. So how many we've talked about procrastination? We've talked about... <laughs> we've talked about overspending. We've talked about too much screen time. And we've talked about worrying. We've talked about worrying. So these are the bad habits that most of us have. These are the regular bad habits we have. And I pray God will help us to come out of each and every, each one of those bad habits. So thank you very much for watching. God bless you. Please share our videos, like our video, comment on our videos, and subscribe to our channel so you could get a notification when I post a new video. God bless you and stop worrying. God is in control and he got you. God is in control and he's going to make everything beautiful in his time. In case you've not given your life to Jesus, because I want to invite you to give your life to Jesus Christ. Accept him into your life as your Lord and Savior. And you can hand over your problems to him. In case you want to accept Jesus Christ into your life, you can say this prayer with you. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for today. I come to you. Forgive my sins. Please cancel my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior, and I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead to save me. With my mouth, I confess you, Lord, over my life. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer, congratulations, you are now a believer. Please find a Bible-believing church. I attend with him. You go look for a within church that is close to you. Tell the pastor that you've given your life to Christ, and he will tell you the next line of action. God bless you. Bye.